Hi, welcome to the Quick Street Workshop. My name is Christoph, and let's find something interesting to do. In one of my previous videos, I installed these water filters. You can find a link to that video in the top right corner. They work well until disaster struck. According to the supplier, this is a common problem, a weak spot in the design. Air in the water system caused a ramming effect burst in both both filters. I decided not to buy new ones but rather try to fix them and improve their strength. First thing would be to glue the broken parts together. I decided to use super glue. These are the results after the gluing. But super glue on its own will not be strong enough. We need some mechanical fastness. The rim is thick enough to drill 5mm holes through. I decided on N M5 countersink 40mm long galvanized bolts. But super glue and bolts on its own still not strong enough and it might leak. We need some epoxy two parts glue. But super glue bolts and nuts and epoxy still not strong enough to withstand the five bar of high pressure. We need some woven glass fibers. And we need preparation. I'm cutting some grooves into the plastic in a cross hatch manner. Using a file and sandpaper to get rid of the burrs. Results after the process. The woven glass fibers and epoxy will reinforce the rim. But first I have to drill some holes through for the M5 bolts. I'm using a vernier to scribe a center line around the top. Marking six equally spaced marks for the holes. using a sharp 5.5mm drill bit. Using a countersink drill to make the heads of bolts flush.
adding the nuts and tightening it all up. At this point I decided to add some wire around for extra support. Flattening the wire ends. Making sure everything is tight. Results. Ready for the final step, epoxy and glass fibers. Mixing the epoxy glue thoroughly. After mixing the two parts, I cover the surface all around. Because it was hot day, I did not have a lot of time before the glue set. It will be better to do this on a colder day. Then winding the glass fiber strip around. And finally adding another layer of epoxy over that. The results. Quick clean up with the grinder. Glue is already hard. Leaving it in the sun to cure completely. I reinstalled the filters and there are no leaks. Several months later, I'm calling it a success. Cost of new ones 700 Rand and dumping them into the environment. Cost of fixing 120 and two hours of my time. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more videos. Have a great week.